Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the selection sort. The selection sort algorithm sorts an array by repeatedly finding the minimum element, considering to be like ascending order, from unsorted part and putting it at the beginning. The algorithm maintains two subarray in a given array. The first one, the first subarray which is already sorted and the remaining subarray which is unsorted. Let's take an example here. Consider that we have an array with the value like 4, 1, 6, 8, 2 and 3 and respectively the index like 0 to 5 and the total length is 6 here. So as per the selection sort, we will consider the first element uh, to be the minimum and then we will compare that with the rest of the values. If any of the value is going to be lesser than the minimum, then we will replace that with the minimum and then we will continue our searching. Let's take an example now. So consider that first we are going to start with the 0th position and my 0th position value I am going to consider that to be my minimum. So here I can say like minimum of 0 that is like the value is actually 4 right. So we will compare that this minimum with the rest of the values right. So here first of all I will check like the first value like i plus 1. So here we are starting from 0 which is my minimum then of course the i is going to increment. So like here I mean the j will get increment I will talk about that in the coding part so here like since already we have taken this for let's start with the one right so here is it lesser than four of course it is lesser than four right so what will happen in the sense like now my minimum of this one right so the minimum of minimum value will become like one okay here index and the value both are one don't get confused but my min new min value is the one okay then here I have to consider the next one since already we have crossed this one now of course I have to take this one right. So here like minimum is 6 and here I will check like if um, 6 is lesser than 1 of course it is not then it will check like 8 of course it is not then it is it will check 2 and then it will check 3 okay. So here we got the 1 as the minimum value. Now since we got a new minimum we have to do the sorting okay. So after sorting what will I mean not sorting after swapping after sorting how my array will look like in the sense like here it will do the swapping right so it will become like uh, 1 and then followed by 4 and then followed by 6 and 8 and 2 and 3 okay so this is my this is going to be my new array and the index are of course going to remain the same okay now let's take this as my minimum okay now array of like the min value it's going to be my 4 okay so of course so far we have done okay this is like your already sorted and this is your unsorted so we'll start from this one right so like is 6 is lesser than 4 of course it is not is 8 is lesser than 4 of course it is not is 2 is lesser than 4 of course it is right so the my new minimum min value will become the 2 okay then we'll continue with the next value so is 3 lesser than 2 of course it is not right so again we have to do the swapping what we have to swap in the sense like so already previously we have like this 4 1 and we are going to swap this with the 2 value okay so my new array will look something like uh, 1 and then we will got like 2 and then we got like 6 8 4 and 3 okay so similarly our index will be like 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay I hope you are able to understand so far right now already we have completed this two value let's go with another value 3 so consider that my minimum value is going to be my 6 okay then we'll compare with this rest of the value is 8 is lesser than 6 of course not is 4 is lesser than 6 yes it is so what we'll do now we have to consider 4 as our minimum okay then the 3 is 3 is lesser than 4 of course it is so we have to do the swapping again okay so this value will go here so again my new array will form and here the array is going to look like 1 2 then followed by 3 8 4 and the 6 okay so say so far we have completed this one this is my sorted and this is my unsorted so the minimum value is going to be now 8 okay then what we'll do we'll just check with the rest of the value so 4 is lesser than 8 of course it is and then it will update by the 4 so the new min is going to be my 4 okay and is 6 lesser than 4 of course it is not right so we have to swap this two value so now my new array will become like 1 2 3 4 
8 and the 6 right so what is my new min now so it's basically the 8 and is 6 is lesser than 8 of course it is so the minimum will become the 6 so of course these two elements will get swapped and the last and final value since we have reached the boundary the length of the array now we can just see like we got the sorted array here okay so this is how the selection array works so you might ask me like we have seen this similarly in our previous video that is bubble sort uh, actually both are same but not exactly like in the bubble sort we will check with the adjacent element whereas here we will consider one element to be minimum and we will search with the rest of the value if there is a new min we will just replace that okay so we will write the code and let's confirm whether we are getting all the answers here correctly or not okay so let's write a function with const selection sort and consider it's going to get an array as an parameter and here first of all of course we have to find the length so let's l or n equal to array dot length then as discussed we have to get two loops so one is we'll start with like from the very beginning so let i equal to zero and i should be lesser than the length and we will increment the i one by one okay and then of course we need one more loop so that when we take the minimum we have to compare with the rest of the value so here it's going to be like uh, let j equal to i plus one why i plus one in the sense like if you see our uh, this one so here you have noticed like so first when we let me zoom it a bit yeah so like we consider the zeroth element to be our uh, minimum then of course we have taken the next value from like i plus one zero plus one only right so here also like when the i is two we took like three right so for that we are using i plus one okay and of course it should be lesser than the length of the array and it should be increment one by one okay now of course we have to know the minimum so minimum we have considered like the first element so here i can say like let min and here i can give the value like min equal to i okay so if you see here the first one first iteration zero is my first element we have taken that as the minimum and in the second iteration after the swapping the value has changed to four so that is what we have taken and here in the third iteration the value is like six that is what we have taken in the minimum so whatever the iteration that means whatever the i value that will be our min value okay now here we have to write the condition to check if the uh, array value is lesser than the min or not right so for that we can say like if array of j is lesser than the min not min it should be like the array of min because we are getting the index not the actual value to get the actual value we have to use like array of the min okay then what we'll do we'll have to update the minimum right so we'll say like min equal to j once that is done once that comparison is done and after the loop after the inner loop because as soon as we got the min we should not do the swapping because we have to complete until the length of the array okay so after this for loop we have to write the swapping okay so let's say like let temp equal to it's going to be my array of uh, not this one like array of i and then so then array of i will become my array of min that means array of min will be stored in the array of i and whatever there we in the temp will just use that in the min okay so just a simple uh, swapping already we have discussed so let's not worry about this and once the swapping is done again of course it's going to loop to the second iteration and it will do all this stuff once it is done we'll just simply go and return the array and here i can just console log and we can see the output okay so i'm going to call the function selection short and internal array we have to give this and i'm going to take the same value now so the value is 416823 let's give that 416 and 8 comma 2 comma 3 okay so just to make sure like it's going to work what i'm going to do is of course i have to execute okay to go back it's control j to bring the terminal and i'm going to call like node then followed by the file name and here we can say like we are getting undefined so that means of course we have done something wrong here okay so here you can select instead of 
i i mean instead of j i have given i so that is my bad let me correct it and here also i have to make it like j plus plus so that we can continue the loop and let's go and run it one more time you can see like we got the exact sorted value okay but just to show you like whatever we have done is correct i'm going to console log here and i'm going to show you step by step how does it works of course we can use the visualizers visualization but for this i think this will be more appropriate one okay so here i'm going to say like and similarly here to understand like what is the new minimum value i'm going to console log that so new minimum value min value is basically like the min uh, not the min actually it should be like array of min or also we can see the uh, min as well okay so i can just give this one okay now let's go and run this one more time okay so here you can see like we got something okay now let's go to our uh, this scribble pad or whatever it is okay so here you can see like our input is 416823 that is what we got here 416823 and that after that we got like area like 146823 let's go and confirm this one so here um where is that one okay so here basically okay i should print that value so so that we can see so here I, like after the swapping i'm just going to say like uh, console log and here i'm going to call my array itself okay so let's go and print this one okay now we got this exactly so here one four six eight two three one four six eight two three we got it then my array like one two six eight four three right so here you can say like one two six eight four three okay very good so far clear now after that once we find the minimum and we do the swapping it should be like one two three eight four six right so here you can see like one two three eight four six and then we have like one two three four eight six so that is what we can see here and finally of course the sorted value okay that's it okay so I, I, I hope you are able to understand this like how does it really works just in case if you want to see in the visualization let me just remove my logs and copy the center code and as usual we'll go to our javascript visualization website okay so first one is basically we got the array and if you go to this you can see like we have the uh, minimum as one min value as one and then okay i'm going to skip this like uh, when it goes to the the sorting part i'm going to just show you that one so here you can see like it changed to like uh one four six eight two three and then followed by like one four one two six eight four three okay so it might take little time so just i have skipped but of course like as we discussed in our previous video you can just do the visualization and you can understand okay i hope already i have explained this in this way so yeah that's it for this video Thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comments. Tada! Bye bye. See you.